Hey guys, it is Carly here bringing you the Horror Pack unboxing video for the month of May. Yes, it is that time again. It seems like this I get these packs faster and faster. Obviously, they come around at the same time, but I think it's because I haven't had all that much time to really watch movies, so there's so many Horror Pack movies that I have yet to get to, but um, I, I still get really excited when these show up on my doorstep because I always, like I said, forget when they're coming and it's a nice surprise, so... Without much else to say, I'm just going to hit, go ahead and get right into this. And first up, we have the last house on the left. And um, it's funny, I always forget, I always think this is the remake for some reason. This cover art just seems very modern to me, but this is actually the original. And I do actually own the original, unfortunately, on DVD. But, I mean, that's a plus because it's on DVD and I do not have the Blu-ray. And, you know, this is one that... I only saw once and never really had interest in rewatching just because it uh, just had something aspects to it that I really didn't like and I know many other people don't like those elements as well but uh, since I got the Blu-ray that gives me a reason to revisit it. Um, you know definitely not a very fun movie or anything like that. Definitely a weird disturbing type of film but uh, this gives me a reason to revisit it and I do not own the Blu-ray so that's cool. Next up, we have Stonehurst Asylum. I don't really know anything about what this is or anything like that. Um, looks like, honestly, it looks like, sorry, that was my phone dinging. Um, looks like something that I honestly might not like all that much. It looks like it might be kind of a period piece just based on the cover, but I could be wrong. It's just the way that people are dressed and things like that, but... Yeah, never actually heard of this one, so I am interested to see what it's like. Uh, you know, I shouldn't judge it by just the cover alone, but I'll have to look into it, and I will eventually watch it, so we'll see. After that, we have the Black Dahlia. Da I don't know how to say that, so I'm not even going to really try, but this is seems to be the Horror Pack limited edition film. Um, sounds pretty interesting. Honestly, I don't really know much about this story, but uh, honestly, it sounds pretty interesting. I know it is a pretty interesting case and story, but I, I'm not really too familiar with it, so I'm definitely interested in checking this one out. And then lastly, we have uh, Resolution. Resolution, um, yeah, don't know what this is either or anything about it. Uh, looks, I don't know, this cover is kind of weird. Puts the cabin in the woods to shame. Uh, yeah, whatever. I, those quotes are always kind of stupid to me, but yeah, I don't know anything about this one either. I uh, have no idea what kind of movie it could possibly be, really. It looks like Road Thriller slash, obviously, it tries to compare itself to Cabin in the Woods, so who really knows? Um, yeah, can't really say much about this. Don't own it, though. Don't know anything about it, so I'll have to see what it's like for myself, so... Overall, kind of a strange horror pack. I'm probably most excited about Last House on the left and the exclusive that you get here. So um, that is quite interesting. The other two movies, uh, not so much. I'm not really sure if I'm going to enjoy those. Maybe Resolution. It looks like it could possibly be up my alley. But the other one, I'm not really sure about. But either way, they are not Blu-rays that I own. So I am still pretty happy. I really... Um, haven't gotten any repeats so far while getting horror packs, so that's a plus. Besides, you know, getting Blu-rays that I already owned on DVD, I haven't got any repeat Blu-rays that I already bought for myself, so that is okay in my book. So, yeah, I'm going to continue to get the horror pack, and yeah, thank you guys for joining me for this unboxing, and I will see you with next month's.